In this video, I will show you how to record this entry, which is a purchase from an unregistered dealer. So over here, we are buying uh, two cartridges for Rs. 800 from an unregistered dealer. So since we know that purchase from an unregistered dealer falls under subsection 4 or section 9 and that section has not been implemented yet. So right now we just need to record a plain purchase entry without any tax component. Okay, so now let's record this entry in tally. In order to record purchase entry, we will access the accounting voucher menu. And uh, right now I am at the payment voucher creation. I will press the F9 key to access the purchase voucher. Assume that I am recording this entry on 12th of August 2019 and the supplier invoice number is 201 and it was issued on 12th of August 2019 itself. In the party account name, uh, we need to specify the name of the supplier or you can select the cash ledger if you are purchasing these items in cash. For this example, I will specify the name of the supplier who is an unregistered dealer and the ledger for unregistered dealer doesn't exist so we will have to create one. So press Alt C to create the ledger. The name of my supplier is Sunshine Enterprises and all suppliers are grouped under sundry creditors and I want tally to track uh, bill wise details so I will leave this option to yes and let me specify the pin code as 56001 which is pin code for Bangalore and I don't want to provide any bank details regarding this supplier and over here under the field registration type select the type as unregistered so specifying the registration type is an important thing so whenever you create a ledger for an unregistered dealer then specify its registration type as unregistered and press the enter key and now press ctrl a to save this ledger and you will be provided with this uh, optional information so you can skip it by pressing ctrl a and select the purchase account ledger that you want to account for for this transaction. Now let me specify the name of the items that I am purchasing and over here we have a pack of cartridge but if you look at the transaction we are buying a pack of single cartridge so that item is not created so let me uh, take you through item creation by pressing Alt C and let me provide a name for this item which is HP 680 single color cartridge and it is grouped under string cartridges and its category is color cartridge and I'm going to sell this item in pieces so I'll select the unit as pieces and of course uh, GST is applicable on this item and since we have uh, defined the GST details at group level so we need not to specify those details again and save the item creation and according to the transaction I bought two pieces of this item for piece 800 so the invoice amount would be 1600 rupees now press the enter key the cursor will go to the discount field i did not receive any discount for this item so i'll press the enter key and skip this fields and in case if i want to specify other items which i have purchased then i can specify it over here again and since i did not purchase any items i'll press the enter key again now if I select the GST ledger you will notice that tax amount has not been calculated. In earlier transactions whenever we used to select the GST ledgers uh, tax amount used to get auto calculated. 
and since this is a purchase from unregistered dealer tally knows that uh, tax amount should not be calculated that is why uh, tax amount is not getting auto calculated over here so just remove the gst ledger field by pressing control d and select the option end of list and you need not to provide any gst details over here and just save the transaction since this purchase is a credit purchase uh, tally will prompt you to provide the bill wise details for this transaction so just save those details and save the entry as well now let's find out what will be the implication of this transaction on gstr2 report so we will go back to the gstr2 report so select the option display and select statutory reports and then gst and then select gstr2 report and specify the period for which you want to view the gst return details so i am specifying the details for the month of august now if you remember earlier there were two invoices uh, which were of uh, b2b type and now there is one more invoice which is under the head nil rated invoice and unlike uh, these invoices there won't be any tax information for this transaction and if you press the enter key over here you can see that this transaction is an interstate transaction uh, which means uh, the transaction has taken place in the same state and the exempt value which is the invoice value is rupees 1600 and it means that this value of 1600 is exempt from gst so in this field exempt value it will display some of invoice values which are purchases from unregistered dealer and further if you press the enter key you would be able to see the uh, details of each individual purchases from the unregistered dealer so this is how you record purchases from unregistered dealers in the next video we will talk about gta which means goods transport agency and how do we record uh, transactions pertaining to gta